Here we are, Guardhouse Armory. I will be topping off the stream with this dungeon. It's a, it's a very quick one. Mini, little mini dungeon. Welcome back, knights. Or little soldiers, I mean. The upgrade you get here is very nice. I'll be doing the next arena start of next stream. And I'm a little bit scared. It's not going to be fun. Oh, okay. Well, then in that case, you should have eight right now. Money? Yeah, I'll grab it. Why the heck not? I probably wouldn't come all the way back in here for 50. Yeah, that... Your way of thinking about it, uh, Zach, is exactly mine. Unless you absolutely cannot do it, there's no reason not to do it as soon as you can. Because likely, if it is hard, then that means it's it's a good prize. Alright, every single time I've come in here, every time I've played this game, I've lost my shield. Let's try to break tradition. <laughs> well, he turned around. Okay, I do want to find the map. Not too worried, though. It, this, is, this is a very small dungeon. Curse you. I'm gonna leave you alive, actually. You do have the Blessed Star. Okay, that, that does help. Oh, there's the Cursed Skull. Ooh, I got him. There we go. Number 12. Oh, by the way, Zachary, um, did you know that Umbral Cloud is actually the prequel to Isle of Rebirth? So, if you plan on, like, playing the whole, like, trilogy, if you could call it that, you'd want to play Umbral Cloud. But be sure you're used to Isle of Rebirth before you do, because, as I've said, I, I think Umbral Cloud is much harder than Isle of Rebirth. First of all, I'm just going to say this, you don't have a shield in Umbral Cloud. So, any projectile coming at you, you need to dodge. You cannot block it. And that was annoying. Like, that's just a taste of how hard it is. It's made by the same creator of this quest, though, so... It does have the same... Same quest feel. Ah, there. So yeah, see? This is a very... Very short little dungeon. It'll definitely consume the rest of the stream, though. What am I at? I'm at 20 minutes? I don't know if I can do it in 20 minutes, actually. If I'm quick and efficient, I can do it in 20 minutes. Alrighty then. Um. Oh, <laughs> well the crystal, sc the crystal skull is, or not skull, but the crystal star is what that's called, but it's cursed skulls. Or, or curse. I don't, I don't know. I'm confusing myself. Um, I did hear that Evan is working on another project. Whatever it is, I'm playing it. But the next new project I'll probably be playing is uh, Labyrinth of Wisdom, since that's a sequel to Tower Courage, which I let's played. Tower of Courage is probably my second favorite Zelda classic quest, first being this. 
Tower of Courage is, is a great quest. It has glitches and issues, but, you know... I mean, big time... Big time games do, and that doesn't ruin them. And it's actually cool, because Flying Fish, which is a co-creator of Tower of Courage, watched my Let's Play, which was really cool. I actually... <laughs> I unearthed a lot of glitches for him, which was which was nice for him. Nope, there goes my shield. Whoa, nice. We haven't we haven't uh, followed the tradition yet. Wow, six hearts right there. I'm gonna leave you alive. Ah, watch yourself. That's an arrow. Alright, so this isn't anything I can do. I can smell smoke. Uh, let's see. I'm sorry. What game is that? Fan made game? Uh, yeah, Zelda Classic is all fan made. I think my dad's got a fire going. I've also died in this exact room many times, so hopefully. I won't hear. Uh, yeah, Zelda Classic, yeah, it's, it's all fan-made. Um, Tower of Courage is another fan-made quest just like this is. Yeah, isn't that kind of unbelievable that this is all fan-made? It's really well made for fans. Whoa, what? There's a lot of smoke outside my window. Oh, it's exhaust. I guess someone's going somewhere. Look like smoke. It's very thick. Oh, boy. This one, this, this, this one is a thing. This one's tripped me up many times. Okay. Hmm. Don't know what the point of that block is. Oh, that's the point of that block. Alright, so... So it looks like if I had the red down, and the blue up, I... Well, wait, I wouldn't even be able to get in. Um... So it looks like the all all direction block has to go in the upper right corner, and then this arrow left arrow block has to go over to that side. All right, so this this block here, hopefully, I have no purpose for. Same with this one. So basically, I just need to make room for this all direction block. I may have screwed myself over. No, I have not. Lucky me. Okay. I also have to make sure I don't trap myself. That's that's a that's a good practice. Don't trap yourself. Um Alright, so I already have this all directional block ready. Now I just gotta get this other one. Um Okay, first things first, I'm actually going to Shoot, I think I may have actually just now messed myself up. I hope this won't be a bad thing if I do that. I'm really trying not to mess up. Okay, I can put you back over here now. I'm gonna do this so I don't trap myself in. Alright, I think I got this. Yep, I got it. Oof, wow. For second try? Yeah, second try. Not bad. Oh no, I, I ruined myself. The chest appears over there. Actually, no, I'm not ruined. Because I can leave and come back and it'll still be there. Yeah, well, doesn't that figure? <laughs> Luckily, I can do this. Oh no! I can't. Crap, I did ruin myself. Shoot. 
Ah, so you don't want to push either of these two. Well, wait. I can, just as long as I do this. There, now I'm fine. Wow, it doesn't have figure. You solve it, and yet it's still ruined. Okay, first things first, I'm going to do this. Get everything out of the way. I'm actually going to push you up there, and then get you over here. There we go. Small key. The things we'll do for small keys. Yeah, and that's where you end up if you trap yourself in. Okay, I got a key. What now? Looks like I'm going to have to change the colors since I don't think I can do anything else right now. Yep, I need to change the color. There's nothing else I can do. So how do I get there? I go up. And all the way around, okay. Ah, ooh. Forgot that I killed all of you. Just realize how low I am on health. Okay, so now that I did that, I can go up that way. And I could also solve that puzzle, but I have to go from the entrance of the dungeon. I'm gonna see what's over here. Oh, hey, Pix! Good to see you on a day stream. Oh, I don't like the situation. I was hoping I'd hit that guard, too. I am dangerously low on health right now. Ah! Ooh! Okay, wait. So that's what's here. Okay, so that's a golden barricade, so I need to clear enemies. I'm gonna... get a good... Me thinks I'm dead. Now I have a comfortable amount of health. Okay, yep. They're all gonna come at me right there. Come on, can the can the bubble spawn somewhere else, please? Apparently not. God, that bubble really wants me. Alright, good. Got rid of the bubble. <sighs> I'd actually have to say that's a smart move, because there, it's it's very. This quest is actually very convoluted. There's there's a lot of things that are very complicated. Another key, yes. And it looks like I did have to have that on blue in order to get through here. Yeah, this is my second time doing this quest, and oof, it's 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 fun. It's, it's very fun. <laughs> I I kid, of course. It it is actually a very fun quest. It 
does induce a fair amount of rage, though. Uh, I never did go this way. Let me see. Put you guys over there. Alright, here's the boss. Uh, I never did do that puzzle. I'll clear one of you guys. I don't see myself coming through here again. I want to do it this way. Oh. I don't know why he had blocks in that one other room if it doesn't happen with every room. Alright, so I have another key. Uh, oh, I know where they all go. They all go over on this left side. One, two keys. I do have two keys. Okay, what color do I need it to be? Uh, I need it to be blue, which it is, so... Here we go. Okay. Wow! I did not realize I was that low on health. Crap. That's a shame. Alright. Yeah, you know, I try to not die, but... God dang it. Get off of me. Don't know why I didn't think he would shoot. I'm missing a key. Where would I be missing a key? Oh, up here. Uh, can I even get there? Oh no, that... I think that's money, actually. I think that's the key. Um... I could get there from the start. I'm gonna F6 just because that would be a good few minutes of walking. Also, I can get some health here. <laughs> Wait, what? No death, no potion, no F6. Continue. Actually, no, he doesn't. I've I've watched a number of his let's plays. He really doesn't use potions. Maybe once, and even that uh, that's questionable. Uh, the only reason why I have six in this quest is it's just time, because especially considering I want this stream to be about two hours, that would be hard to do if I didn't do any F sixes. I mean, there really is no benefit to F6ing, because it, unlike other quests, it doesn't give health. Most quests give you health when you F6. This one doesn't, though. Okay, so I do need to change... I do need to hit that switch, but first I'm going to grab this chest. I'm pretty sure it's money, though. Wow. That could have been... Very bad.
line up with everyone else. There we go. Oh, that was a key. So I guess that other chest was money. Okay. Uh, no, this isn't level 7. This is, uh, Guardhouse Armory. It's a little extra dungeon. Level 7 is at the castle in Northern Remdra. Okay, so I'm going the right way. Whoa, that's a weird throw. Crap. I messed around there, I shouldn't have. Whoa. Okay, so that's the boss key. Alright, I missed some stuff here. It's, uh, is it a ROM? It's its its own program. It, I wouldn't really call it a ROM. But anyway, uh, I got the boss key, and I can now head to the boss, naturally. Yeah, but it is impressive, Pix. I... Watching your Let's Plays is one of the things that got me into Zelda Classic. You and Melee Wizard. Okay, so... I need this to be blue. Or I need it to be red, I mean. But the thing is... I mean... It is it is impressive, Pix. And yeah, it's definitely not easy to do. I've... I've done it too. I actually did play a quest that I did that. I don't remember which one it was, but it was not easy. Um, <clears throat> but I just, I feel like that, I don't want to give myself too many challenges, otherwise it kind of ruins the fun. Because like, I've tried to do the original Zelda quest without, I mean, I've done the original Zelda quest without dying, without using a potion. Um, I just don't think it's as fun because it's there's so many things you need to watch out for that for me personally it's not as fun. For you it might it might be fun for you. I mean, yeah. Um Yeah, I don't think you could play. I don't Zelda Classics not in anything else, I don't think. Um F6ing like I said, if if there were quicker ways to get to the beginning of the dungeon, which, of course, when I get um, Fair Wars Wind, I will be using that. Because I only do F6 to get to the beginning. Like I said, in this quest, there's no purpose to F6ing other than to get to the beginning. Alright, here we go. Okay, I just wanted to get a good look at everything. Shoot. Uh, I walked right into that. I'm just going to retry that. Thank you. 
Shoot! And my prize? The Master Sword. Yes, how did it get here? Who knows? Who cares? I got the Master Sword. Alright, so that was Guardhouse Armory. Oh, okay, I see. I've, I've wanted to get into Z Quest, but it, it looked too complicated. I actually started making a quest a couple years ago. Uh, I got a fair amount of the overworld done. Didn't really get much further because I didn't want to start something that I didn't know I would want to keep doing. I don't want to invest in something that I'm not going to do for a while. Um, oops. Well, I guess you guys get a little little peek into the situations, the channel. So that's that's how Zelda Classic works. It's a very simple program, but if you're on Windows 10, uh, you do need this DXGL. I have a tutorial video. If you go to my if you go to my tutorial video here, I have a link to the DXGL right here in case you need it. Um, you just download it here, Windows installer. Uh, basically, that gives you this where you can modify this. Otherwise, it won't. It'll play in normal uh, normal window, but in full screen, you'll have some issues. So just be sure if you're on Windows 10. And I'm saying Windows 10 because when I had Windows 7, I didn't have the issue. I could just go full screen and play with no problem. But um, if you're at Windows 10 wanting to play in full screen mode, you are going to need that DXGL. Unless it's a 1080p thing. I'm not sure. I just know once I went to Windows 10, that's when that problem occurred. Yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, see you, some of you guys tonight. Maybe not all of you. Uh, but see all of you guys some other time eventually. Goodbye.